let's see what we got here. <laughs> the box has obviously been resealed. <laughs> uh, look, I got this little professional uh, box cutter. Very cute and dandy. Let's see how well she works. She's taking to the real goals with this, you know. Ooh, she just cut the box. <laughs> All right, so we're reviewing this today. It's a surprise to me. We already know what is coming, or they know what's coming inside of the box. This is new to me. I wanted my uh, a, a very authentic reaction. So I just popped the box open, and what we got here? Wayfair Ray-Ban stories. All right. Kind of a light box. I can kind of toss it up. Oh, works with Facebook. Already know that on the open. All right, we got some instructions here, but let's take let's take a look at these glasses before we look at the instructions. Let's see how we open this. Got the tab to open up my plastic. Got my tab to open up my plastic. We got a nice little tab. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. There's a tab to pull, but it's attached by the sticker at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, see? Nah, this is gonna do just fine. Yep. That thing will come in handy. <laughs> I love that thing when I love this. <laughs> All right. All right, so you pull out the sleeve. We got the black box. Again, it tells you for um, it's Ray-Bans uh, in conjunction with Facebook. It's a very sleek and nice opening, I must admit. You got the black sunglass case. I mean, you know something else has to be in here. This is bigger than a traditional case. I mean, it looks like a giant pill. Uh, and then what we have here, um, I got a little box here. Download the Facebook View app. What's inside here? Got some safety warranty information. There's something else in here. What's this? Oh, it's a little bag. This is, is it for this. It must be for the glasses itself, because this is very small to hold this case. I don't. No one puts cases inside the bag anyway. And we have we have the charger. Boom! So inside the box. Came the pill of a case, uh, the little glasses bag, the little, I guess, I, what's this, microfiber? It's a kind of like, hello, cleaning glass, cloth texture, <laughs> uh, safety information, uh, reference guide, and the charger. Now, what we, ooh, okay, <laughs> what we really came here for is inside here. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this case has some depth to it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. You can tell, like, you can see the charging components. The co charging components. So, your charger comes, uh, what's this, the USB-C. Plugs into the back there. Boom. Plugs into your box, into the wall, whatever your setup is. That's all cool. And if you look inside, you can actually see where the charger connects to the side of the glasses while it's in there. Awesome. All right. So I have, I don't have a lot of experience with this, uh, but I did see a short video to kind of show you how, it, how to use it. Let's see what or how this goes. Um, these are heavier than any glasses that you'd wear on your face traditionally, uh, but they're not heavy. You can just tell that it has a little something extra to it. Ooh, but they're very comfortable. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just taking a quick glance. I got a button up top here, um, and then you can see the two lenses on this side here. Boom. 
I'm just gonna put that on the side there for you guys. What does the reference guide say? All right, so this is the reference guide. Let's start with A. All right, so A, we got the power switch. It's on the inside on the left uh, glasses arm. Uh, and then we have the capture button. The capture button is on the opposite side. So that's the first button I pointed out to you guys. So your, oops, your power is here. Your capture button is here. Uh, and then for cameras, this is, cam oh, I showed you guys where the cameras are, the lenses, one and two on either side of the camera. Um, there is a touchpad. Mm, I love touchpads. Our touchpad is located next to the capture button. So you're on the side right here, this arm, uh, where you typically just like do your little, you know, pose your, pose with your pictures, put your little fingers here. No, that you can finally do something else. That's your trackpad. Your touchpad. Um, your capture LED. That is E. It's saying the capture LED is over here. Oh, okay. It has the little the little light here. I see it. It's very easy to miss. Honestly, you wouldn't even be able to tell. So yeah, we have uh, the LEDs on either side of the camera, you wouldn't even be able to tell it's there. Upon first glance, I mean, you'd miss, you'd look completely past it. Boom. Honestly, if I put these all right, the only thing you really see are the lenses. Uh, yeah, the actual glass lenses, the cameras. Uh, beyond that, you can't, I bet you can't even tell that the light is literally just above the camera lenses on the side here. Um, beyond that, we do have, we do have speakers. Uh, the speakers are conveniently placed just over your ears. So if you look closely, if you lean in, you'll see the speakers are just, just over here, optimally placed. Uh, so you can capture all that audio. Uh, and then what is it? Our microphones, G. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So. On the glasses here, it says E is the capture LED. So E, the capture LEDs, are on either side of the glasses. Uh, they're really seamlessly and uh, seamlessly placed, and they kind of hide just over the lenses of the camera. Uh, honestly, if you were wearing these, I mean, a stickler would notice them. But you, it doesn't interfere with the actual styling of the glasses. I mean, honestly, if you're wearing it, you're probably wearing it for more than just a style. But if you were looking for some of that and not have it interfered with too much, then that definitely caters to you. Um, our speakers. It says that the speakers are placed right over the ears. Okay, so you put them on. Boom. You want to hear something. You want to hear the video uh, playback. You're going to hear it with the speakerphones just over the arch. Boom. Uh, and then the microphones, it says that the microphones are right here. So, I mean, I guess that's as close as you can get it without actually like being over your mouth and like on your eyes. Uh, so I guess that it definitely, you know, it's, it's, it's there. I think, I feel like that's close enough uh, for you to get some of that audio, but we'll play around with it and see how we like it. Uh, and then the notification LED, uh, where is that? I see. It tells me there's a notification LED Oh, okay, I see it here. It's kind of like off to the side. Ha! You find out that you have a notification on the inside of the glasses. And it kind of resembles uh, the capture LED. Instead, it's like right in the corner. It's very small. So no one else knows you have a notification other than you. And I wonder how bright that shows. I mean, it's so small, I can imagine it just being very nice and subtle, but you know, again, we're playing around with this, how this goes. Um, I'm gonna go grab my phone so that we can download this Facebook View app. Let's see what we're working with. A few moments later. All right, I don't think I need these, I'm inside, but I feel official like setting up the app with the glasses on.
Boom. And then you all can get a good look at it, tell me what you like while you have it on, you know, kind of get a form of opinion, you know, just kind of viewing it in motion and whatnot. Um, all right, so I downloaded the, the app and it's asking me to continue as myself. I'm not gonna show you my name. Uh, hello, Orlando. All right, there it is. All right, so it says, start by turning on your glasses. The glasses notch on the inside for you to turn it on. And then on the other side, it kind of gives you like little direction also. Oh. Here it is. The power switch, slide to the right and release to turn on. So we're gonna slide it to the right and then release it. Okay, so it went all the way over and then kind of like came back to the middle. Um, and then to turn it off, I mean, you slide it all the way to the left. Pretty simple. All right, so they're on. Um, slide and hold the power switch towards the lens until the notification LED starts blinking white, then release it. Slide and hold the power switch towards the lens. All right, so I got it blinking. It's very subtle. I can imagine in the sunlight you wouldn't be able to see this thing at all, though. It's so tiny, and I have, have to almost like look at it dead on with my eyes to see if I have a notification. But I guess I guess you don't want it blaring in your eyes as well, so I feel like that's probably well, well thought out. All right, so we slid the whole power switch towards the lens until the notification LED starts to blink white. We released it, let's move on to next. We're waiting for the LED to turn green, which it has already. Uh, the white LED will blink up for up to a minute while your glasses turn on. When it turns solid green, you're ready to continue. We're moving on to next. Uh, put your glasses into pairing mode. Slide and release the power switch for five seconds and release when the light, blink when the light blinks blue. All right, your glasses will appear in the app when they're in pairing mode, which can take up to 10 seconds. So let's give this a try. Slide and hold the power switch for five seconds and release when the light starts to blink blue. All right. Ooh. Found them! You didn't have to do anything else. Once it's found, it goes right to it. Boom. Boom. So actually, choose your glasses below. It's activating. The Bluetooth pairing request. Yes, we're going to pair it. Pair it now! <laughs> All right. It's still activating. It's taking a second. Is the Bluetooth on? All right, so if you would like to find and connect to your devices, yep, we're gonna allow it. Update, ready to install. Your glasses will need permissions to connect to your power over Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm sorry, to your phone over Wi-Fi. Shit, man. Yeah, that one. Um, your glasses will need permissions to connect to your phone over Wi-Fi. Install the update. Uh, View wants to join Wi-Fi network. Ray-Ban stories join. All right, so it says it's updating our glasses. Please keep the app open and your glasses will close. Oh, I'm sorry. They're updating the glasses. Please keep the app open and your glasses close by until the update is complete. All right, so it's taking a little bit. I mean, we've been sitting here for maybe half a minute to a minute and it hasn't even reached maybe 20% yet. So I can imagine it's taking a little bit. It says about a two minute wait. Let's see how long it actually takes us. Mm. But you know what though? 
I can imagine these glasses being amazing. I, I'm thinking about how I just went on a roller, to a roller skating rink uh, for uh, someone's birthday. And I was thumbing my phone trying to skate the rink that I nearly fell and bust my tail on because I was doing too many things at once. I mean, this right here, I can simply just tell it, hey, Facebook, record, and it'll start doing what I wanted to do. Or, hey, Facebook, take a photo, and it'll do that for me as well. I mean, that alone, to being hands-free, being able to catch a moment, I feel like that speaks for itself. I feel like the collaboration between them and Facebook is absolutely, you know, genius. I mean, who don't want to pay Ray-Bans? And my Ray-Bans get sick pictures and videos, like... And they come prescribed! I mean, if you really wanted the fiend, then, you know, you... <laughs> then, you, 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 you got them. You got them. You, you got a photographer or someone who just loves the camera and they need glasses. Think about all the people who, like... Think about all the people who want to use a camera or use their phone, but for whatever reason, their glasses might get in the way, like... You know, I, I feel like I've seen it happen. They can't put, like, the camera all the way up to their face or, like, you know, whatever way glasses could interfere with photography and videography. This right here, I feel like, is a nice press-through for them. <laughs> uh, getting notifications about your glasses. We want those. We want those because that's what sends this light off. That's how you know you got some mail, you know, like... I'm just bleeding white. Okay. If you would like to send your notifications, allow it. Capture the moment hands free. Use Facebook Assistant to take photos and videos with your device. Uh, available in English, Facebook Assistant processes voice recordings, transcripts, and related data about your voice interactions to provide this feature. You can set up the assistant. Let's see what this is like. All right. Use Hey Siri to activate assistant. If you turn on Hey, Fa hey Facebook, that's it, Hey Siri? Turn on Hey Facebook. Assistant will activate when it detects this wake word so you can, or so that it can respond to your request. You can turn off the wake word in settings at any time. If you choose to turn it off, Hey Facebook, you can still press and hold the touchpad to use assistant. I feel like I sound so choppy. Hey, use Facebook to activate Assistant. If you turn on Hey Facebook, Assistant will activate when it detects this wake word so that it can respond to your request. You can turn off the wake word in settings at any time. If you choose to turn off Hey Facebook, you can still press and hold the Facebook, or sorry, press and hold the touchpad to use Assistant. So that touchpad again was on the right side of the glasses along here. Boom. I'm going to use Hey Facebook just so I can see how fast and seamless it works because if it's anything like Hey Siri, we love it. Your transcripts are stored to help improve assistant. What you can do with your transcripts, you can view and delete them in settings, you can turn off storage in settings and still use assistant. Okay. Oof. Jeez. Now this is going to be a little bit long. I feel like it's probably necessary. I want to learn what I need to learn about the glasses, but really I just want to use them. So they want me to get to know my glasses. Learn how to capture photos and videos hands-free, play your favorite media, and take calls to stay connected. All of that, which they just described, is here on your reference guide. I mean, if you wanted to skip this because you already read it here, I mean, it's very simple. I mean, I could probably go through this and talk about it here. All right, so take photos. It's literally the first thing they talk about on the, on the card and on the phone. So take photos. Press and hold to take, to take a photo. The white notification LED will blink and make a sound during the capture. Let's see. Oh. It sounded like... It sounded like... You are fluttering through a series of pictures before it finally settled on a click. Huh. It's not too bad. So press once to record a video. Press again to stop recording. Press and hold for photos. Oh, so you have to hit the press and hold for photos. 
That's interesting. I would have probably just pressed the button for the photo and press and hold for a video, but they did it backwards. But I mean, sure. Um, I think I took a photo. Yeah, that was a photo. So that was that was going through the series of fluttering photos and then finalizing on a click. Uh, and then I'm just gonna press it, see if I can catch a video. Okay. That sound was more of like a recording start, like a... Uh, <laughs> let's see. All right, and then there's like two of those to stop it. Um, control playback. Oh, this one. Okay, this one did it step by step. On the cue card, it tells you about capture with cameras or with your photos and videos in one in one little uh, cue card step here. On the phone, it takes it to two different steps. We're going to pass right through it. We just did that together. Um, the capture LED. The capture LED signals to others when you take a, a photo or a video. I think when I rewatch this, maybe we can see if I can see it because I can't see it right now. Um, capture hands free. Did I set this up? I know I wanted to set it up. I clicked to set it up. Did it just have me skip over it? We'll see. Is it taking me to this worse? Let me see. Hey Siri, take a photo. Not yet. All right, so to play audio, listen to media from your phone and apps. Tap once to pause or play audio. Uh, I'm gonna pick, I mean, I recorded the video. I don't really... I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more because I mean I know I took a video but I don't know that I can just access a video just by tapping on the glasses. I can imagine I have to be searching for it so it knows which video to play but whatever we'll, we'll play with it some more. Uh, you got the, the volume adjustment. Oh my god can you imagine if I tried to play the video and I didn't turn up the volume? <laughs> oh. Oh wow. So as I'm turning it up and down on my glasses, you can definitely turn it, or you see the volume change on your phone. Boom. I don't know, I feel like that, I feel like I have to kind of understand or learn more about where it's placed. I feel like I'm missing it with my finger. I don't feel like it's all over the arm. Um, but we'll see. Take calls. All right, so take calls. I mean, those those options or those instructions to take the calls are much like the captures. So for you to accept a call, you double tap. For you to end a call, you double tap. Um, and then for you to reject a call, you press and hold. So that would be... Ooh, make a nice little sound, Lego. Uh, let's see. All right, and then it goes into the notification LEDs. Each color communicates a, sh a status change. So if your LED white, if your LED light is white, it is active or is recording. If it's green, it's ready to use. If it's orange, there is an uh, an error or the battery is low. If it's red, the glass is shutting or the glass will be shutting down soon. So those are your color indicators. You know, white and green are your good to goes or you know, you probably, you're in a good place. If you're in orange or red, then you probably want to go see what that's about. Uh, you can, you can watch this tour again at any time in our settings. Sure. Your memories, your data. Okay. After all that, we're ready to capture. Whew. Well, that's nice. That's nice. So like you're ready to capture, just you know, keep in mind to respect others around you. Does it feel appropriate to take a photo or a video? Should your volume be softer? You know, they want to be sure that you're considered about the folks around you. 
I mean, that should go without saying, but for those of you who need reminding, it's there. All right, let's try this. All right, so to take the photo, it was backwards. So I need to hold it. <laughs> I need to press and hold. I did something. I think it captured um, the photos and videos. Oh, okay, it captured the photos and videos that I, that I tried to do earlier. So when I came out of it, it was already there waiting for me. Well, that's, that's, that's cute and interesting. It's playing, but I don't know how loud this, this is for everyone else in the room. All right, so that was the video. I'm looking at a couple of, the, of these photos. If I show you these photos, I'm gonna like give away the secret to our setup. But they're decent photos. I'm gonna take these off, boy. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's not bad, I guess I could've took them off. I don't feel like that's the loudest volume, and I don't really feel like that'll disturb too many people around you. But I guess it depends on the setting. Generally, I feel like that's a very moderate volume to be working with if you're going to be having glasses. I mean, the consideration in remark was there, but I mean, they handled it on their end for the most part. I feel like with mean, these cameras, are the the photos are pretty good. They're 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 definitely clean. Hi. The quality is good. Um, the only thing I would be worried about using these right off the bat, um, people like to touch their glasses, and you know you get fingerprints all over your glasses. I maybe that maybe that's what this is for to kind of help clean them. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what you do with them. Um, but yeah, if that's the case, because you're taking pictures, I would always make this handy because you don't, you just never know. Like, you don't, I mean, think about how many times you touch your face, you don't even recognize that you touched your face. You know, being able to keep those camera lenses clean is gonna be optimal if you wanna make good use of the lens or of, you know, these Facebook Ray-Bans. I mean, all in all, just after, or just after, you know, initial unboxing, I think this is a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool gig. It's a pretty cool setup. I mean, they definitely make it functional. You know, everything is seamlessly placed and, you know, your speakers, your controls, you know, charging, power switch, your LED lights. Everything is, is, is seamless, seamlessly, you know, put together. And I will definitely give them kudos on that. I honestly wouldn't mind, you know, just walking around with this. I'm going to take this on my next vacation. I'm thinking about the hikes that I went on or like I said, the roller skating rink or everything else where I wanted to take a picture but didn't want to have, or didn't have my hands free or didn't want to have my hands free, you know, just so I could hold my phone. You know, I feel like this is a very, and then this voice activator, all I have to say is, hey, Facebook, and boom. Oh, I said it and it did it. Hey, Facebook, take a photo. There it went. Hey Facebook, start a video. And it is recording. Hey Facebook, stop the video. It stopped. Just that simple. I don't feel like I had to like raise my voice or do anything extra just for it to understand me or for it to follow through with the, with the command. I think it follows through in response pretty nicely. Boom. All right, guys, that was fun. Let's, uh, Let's put the sucker back. <laughs>